Good morning from Plymouth. It's dice workout day. How's everybody doing? All good? Looking forward to a bit of resistance training? Yeah. You can feel the burn today. Right. Give me a shout out comment if you're on. I'll give you a shout out. Wait till there's a few online. Get going. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Robert. How are we this morning? All good? Looking forward to the dice workout? Okay, while we're waiting, I'll tell you what you need. A drink of water or a drink, whatever you drink. Water's the best thing for you. I recommend water. Okay, if you've got a map, that's great, but not essential because we're only doing a, a little bit of floor work today, depending on what the dice gives us. Good morning, Neville. You excited, Charlie? Okay, right, before I go any further, as I'm a Yorkshire lass, and we have a few Yorkshire people watching us today, some people from Hull, I just want to say happy 100th birthday to Captain Tom. Good morning, Gwen. So, from one Yorkshire lass to one Yorkshire man, happy 100th birthday, Captain Tom. You are an inspiration, and you're inspiring me and a lot of people. I just wanted to give you a cheers with my cup of coffee. Okay, and on with the dice workout. Good morning, Sarah. <laughs> You've got Matt and a Matt. Okay, <laughs> I knew you'd pick up on that. Right, so, I've got the dice. I need them. So, you've got your drink of water, if not, go and get one. Whether you've got a mat on the floor or a mat at home, that'd be great. <laughs> okay, you will need some form of weight today. So, if you've got cartons of mi um, milk cartons filled up with water, that's great. I will demonstrate how to use these when we do things like the kettlebell swings. If you needed a bit more weight and you read my post last night, I said fill up a small rucksack with weight. Okay, I've done one to show you and this is what I put in it. Okay, it's got, you can see, tins of tomatoes, tin, whatever tins you've got really, tins of chickpeas. Uh, it's got two bags of flour. Hello Matt. Okay, so this weighs about five and a half kilograms. All right, it's a good weight if you've got nothing else. You can always put more weight in it if you want it to weigh more. All right, and for things like the kettlebell swings, you can just hold it from the straps and go like that. Okay, but I will demonstrate. Okay, it's cool if you've got weights, if you've got a kettlebell, you can use this. Okay, but I will demonstrate with the uh, rucksack and demonstrate with milk cows just to show you what you can do. That's good. Cool. Morning, Kerry. Good morning, Linda. Hope the sun's shining in Hull, it's been raining all day in Plymouth and the sun has just come out, just for us. Okay, so we've got some weights, we've got some water. I've got the dice, okay? We have got six exercises to do today. <laughs> Miss you too, Matt. Um, six exercises, because there are six numbers on a dice. Alright, our first exercise is weighted squat pulses. I'll show you which one as we go along. So, for example, if you've got your rucksack filled with weight, you can put it on the front of you, like so, or the back of you, doesn't matter. And you just do a full squat down, like so. Make sure your bum is back and your knees behind your toes. Put it on your back, or to make it harder, you can hold it out front, bringing the arms into play, deep squat, okay. Same principle with milk cartons. Hold them out front or hold them into your chest. You choose. All right, next one, bicep curls. Okay, if you've got your rucksack, again, standing tall, shoulders back. Okay, same with the milk cartons. Just squeeze them biceps. Yeah. Okay. So the third one, press-ups. Nice and simple, you can do these on your knees. You can do full press-ups, you choose. So easy one, weight forward, knees forward, slightly harder, weight forward, knees back, and hardest, full press up, like so. Nice and easy, your favourite Charlie, 
Kettlebell swings next. Oh, it's warming up now, the sun's come out. Okay, so with a kettlebell, if you've not done these before, sit back into a slight squat, swing. Push out the hips as you come up, okay? If you've not got a kettlebell, rucksack. Hips out, hips out. Make sure your bag is done up or it will all land on your head, okay? With your milk cartons, same principle. Through the legs, push them hips out. Through the legs, push them hips out. Everything is doable. Sit up thrusters. If you struggle with sit-ups, the weight might help you. Or you can put your feet under the chair, you don't have to use a weight. It's just to make it a little bit harder. Choose what weight you want to use. So it's a kettlebell, milk carton. Take it back over your head and push out. Okay, again. You can use some milk cartons back over the head. Hopefully they're not leaking today. For those that were leaking the other day, over the head, push out. Alternately, just do sit-ups if you've not got a suitable weight, because your rucksack weight might be a bit heavy. Just up and down, okay? And the final one, number six, Russian twists. So whatever weight you've got, make some space just going from hip to hip, weight back, head back, hip to hip. Right, well hopefully you're all good with your right weight. Good morning Cheryl, good morning Beth. <laughs> Are we good to go? Right, so you know the exercises, you know that we've got six on the dice, I'll say. So we roll the first dice, so for example, number six. So that would be Russian twists. So we need to know the reps. So we put two dice together. We roll them. So that's a nice simple one. We times them together. So that would just be two Russian twists. So if we did that again, that would be the hardest one you can get. Six sixes, 36. So we do 36 Russian twists. Okay, we keep going until we finish the timer. So. I must remember to set a timer. Obviously, we're going to do a warm up first, but I will not forget the timer this time. Right, 25 minutes. Is everybody ready to go? We're going to do a warm up and then we're going to start. So it's 25 minutes. We just keep going, we keep rolling the dice, we keep doing the reps. All right, we might keep getting the same exercises, but it's all resistance training. There's no cardio today. So it's all good for those that have had a bit enough of cardio. One, one times one is not two, Kaz. Yeah, I knew that. I was just testing you, Charlie. <laughs> not enough coffee yet. I was doing one plus one, Charlie. That's what I was doing. <laughs> if you're working out before me, feel free to do it quickly. Right, you've passed your test. Are we ready to go? I shall have some more coffee and then my brain might work. This is why I have a degree in sports and nutrition and not arithmetics. <laughs> okay, let's get warmed up. Timer is ready to go. Turn it up. Show me. 
Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to go. Six sixes all the way, Charlie. <laughs> right, timer on. I've set it to roll on a number three, which is press ups. I've weighted it. <laughs> okay. Timer is on, 25 minutes. Let's roll for the first one. That's number five. So that's sit up thrusters. Let's roll for the reps. Morning, Ben. Oh, an easy one. One, three. That's three. <laughs> Okay, so just three. Okay, whatever weight you've got, you don't have to use a weight, you can just do sit-ups. Take it behind your head, thrust it forward. So that's one. Two. And three. Nice easy one to start with. Okay, we're on again. Number one. Weighted squats. Let's do this. Ooh. Two sixes. 
boxes. That's 12. So 12 weighted squats. Again, use whatever weight you've got. Remember, if you've got a rucksack, put it on your front, on your back, and hold it up in front of you. You choose. Okay, so just 12. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Make sure your knees are behind your toes. Six. Seven. Eight. We're getting low reps at the minute. One. Squeeze and biceps. Two. Core and shoulders back. Three. Stand tall. Four. Slowly back down. Slowly back up. Five. Halfway. Six. Keep that tummy in. Shoulders back. Seven. 
the other day you'll be feeling them triceps okay I'll give you a minute get a drink if you need it Got 16 minutes left right I'll roll the next one not a brush and twist yet number four kettlebell swings two and five nice and simple ten Right, Charlie? Everyone feeling good? Right. I'll demonstrate again with the rucksack. Just so you know what to do. Okay? The same with the milk cartons. Just swing between your legs and take it up. You ready? We're going three, two, one, to ten. So that's one. Push the hips out. Two. Hips out. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. Let's go again. Number four. Same again. Two sixes. Right, we're ready. Let's go. One. Make sure you push them hips out. Two. As you come up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Well done. Right. Go again. Take a drink if you need it. Oh, number four again. Three sixes, 18. Are you ready? It's a great all over one, 
this one. Working the quads, working the glutes, working the arms, working the core. Okay, you ready? For 18. Glutes of steel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Always push some hips out. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Well done. You all still all right? <laughs> okay, take a drink. Give you a break. What have we got left? 13 minutes. Okay. Let's roll. Numero uno. Weighted squat pulses. How many will you do? Oh, just two. One, two. It's two. Okay. Make it harder if you want to. You're only doing two. Whatever weight you've got, pull down in front of you. Do a deep squat. You ready? One. And two. Nice, easy one. I think they're just saving the hard reps for the press ups. Okay, we have a number six. It's our first Russian twist. Just three. Okay. Are we ready? Let's go. So we'll count one side. So that's one, two, and three. We're just going to go faster because we're not getting many reps. Pick it up a level. Number two, bicep curl. Oh, only two again. Okay, we'll just do them slowly. So one, two, three. Core in, shoulders back. One more. Three, two, and one. And down. Three, two, and one. Okay, let's go. Number five, sit up first. Let's get some reps. Four, just four. Okay, let's do this. What's it got to go fast? Okay, one, two, three. Well then, go again. Number one, weighted squat pulses. Two fours. That's eight. Okay, whatever weight you choose. Okay, you ready? Let's do some deep squats. One, machine knees behind your toes. Two. Three, four, five, six, Woo, two more, seven, and eight. Let's take it up. <laughs> okay, how long we got left? Bicep curls. Three, three. Number nine. Pressure. Go. One. Two. Three. Woo. Four. How's everyone feeling? Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Number six, Russian twist. Give 
in 20 seconds. Let's go. Number three, Charlie's favourite press ups. We're going to get 36 again. Oh, just one six, Charlie. Let's do full press ups. Are you ready? Hands wide to the floor, chest. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Well done. Keep it going. Got two minutes, 40 seconds left. Number five, sail thrusters. Four sixes, 24. This is a great one too, working lots of muscles. Legs, core, arms. It's all good. Ready for 24. One. Two. You just need to do sit-ups, that's fine. Three. Put your feet under the couch if you need to. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake it off if you need to. Carry on. Eleven, twelve, halfway. Thirteen, fourteen. Ten more. 15, 16, feeling in my arms now, 17, 18, Ooh. push on the biceps, 19, 20, four more, two, two more, one more. Yeah. Oh my oh god. Ooh, 50 seconds. Get a quick one in. Number one. Weight squats. Six fives, 25. Are you ready? Hold it out, hold it in, put it on your back, put it on your front. Let's go. 25, 2, 3, we've got 30 seconds to do it. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Fifteen, might as well finish them. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Five more, we'll finish them. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Well done. How was everybody after that workout? Who said you needed to do cardio to get a sweat on? Feeling good? Get a drink. Right. Stick around with me. We'll do some cool down stretching. Bring our heart rate down. We've worked some muscle groups today. Lots of arm work, lots of leg work. A little bit of core. We need to stretch some more. Who else has got a sweat on? Send me a picture and show me. Show me your smiley face. Can you see mine? I want to see yours. Right, you ready to stretch? Enjoy that, Sarah. <laughs> Ooh, you're knackered. <laughs> well done, Charlie. 
Right, start with the arms. Across the chest, lock it in. In between the elbow joint and the shoulder joint, not on the joint. In the middle, pull it till you feel the stretch in the shoulder. <laughs> you thought I was brittle? Yeah. The hardest one was a press up, see your favourite. Come on. <laughs> oh. That was a good muscle workout. Well then everybody, shake it off, another arm, in between these two joints, lock it in, keep this arm straight, feel the stretch in here, if you can't feel it, pull it in tight. Has everyone else got a good sweat on? I think we'll make it 30 minutes next time. Okay, shake it off. Put the hands in, push them out, drop the head. Well done, keep it going. Nice big deep breaths. Good effort, shake it off. I'm back, I squeeze them shoulder blades together. I'll put your hands on your lower back and push them together. Anyone find that hard? Anyone find that easy? What do you think? Tell me what you think. I love your feedback. I'm always listening. Okay, ready to go again? Okay, stretch your arms off. Shake it off. All right, and triceps. If you did the back to the other day, they're probably still aching. That's these muscles here. Triceps. The back of the biceps. Shake it off. And the other arm. Push down. Nice big deep breaths. Bring that heart rate down. That's good. Nice big deep breaths. In. And out. Shake it off. You know the great thing about resistance workout? Resistance workout is when you're working muscle groups. The cardio is when it's heart and lungs. Resistance is when you're working the muscles like bicep curls, shoulder pulses, anything that isolates a specific muscle. Is it, when you're finished, you keep burning calories because these muscles are trying to recover. Okay, so you think, oh, I've only burned 250 calories, but the calorie burn is higher for every hour that your muscle is recovering. So for those that think doing resistant working isn't much of a calorie burn, of the quad, knees together, okay, you are wrong. Building muscle is the best thing for burning calories. Okay, cardio, burns the calories while you're doing it. Ooh, not good on my left leg. Okay, but resistance workout, big muscle group workouts, is the best thing overall. Because you build these muscles up, okay, and while you're just breathing, you are burning calories, maintaining these muscles. Shake it off. So listen to me when I say, work the muscles, all right? Because it's better overall for our health. It's great if you're trying to lose weight. It's good for our mental health, okay? Because just doing cardio is just gonna burn off the muscle. It might burn off the fat as well, but still muscle training as well as cardio. Let's work all our fitness because it's so good for our physical and mental health and for losing weight. Okay, so stick with me. I'm trying to do a bit of everything. A bit of muscle work, resistance work, a bit of cardio. Sometimes the, ca sometimes the resistance work is working out long, so it's a win-win, okay? But we must build these muscles, okay? We don't have to build big muscles. We have a nice toned look, okay? But it's so good for us. All right, so stick with me on that and listen to me. And believe me, you will carry on burning calories. I'll finish off on the leg stretches now. Peace, I'll have had a coffee today. Okay, leg out straight. Okay, I might be a personal trainer, I'm a nutritionist as well. And the two work so well together. Okay, that's just got off on a tangent because we're talking about muscles. When you talk lectures on this, you tend to go off on tangents. Okay, so not only must we do the right type of training, we must eat the right type of food. So people think it's all just protein, but it's not just protein, it's carbs as well. 
okay? Any of my old students are watching, you remember this? When you combine protein and carbohydrates, it is the best recovery for our muscles because just protein alone is not going to go back and fill these stores that we've just burned. Okay, it needs the carbohydrates to take it to the muscles. So having carbs and protein together is the best thing for recovery. So a jacket potato with tuna, all right? Some sort, some fish and vegetables, anything like that. <laughs> School about a coffee. I'm waffling on. I miss teaching lectures. <laughs> okay, if anyone has any questions, just ask. All right, but just listen to me in terms of building the muscle, all right? Just doing resistance training, this type of training is not gonna build you massive muscles, okay? I have not got massive muscles, okay? But I do resistance training. I do cardio as well, but not going for long runs. If that's your thing, and that's your body type, everybody's good at one thing, all right? But if you are trying to get more toned, if you are trying to lose weight, or if you are trying to get fitter, Okay, you need resistance training, you need to build muscles and your cardio is still there because you are still working your heart and lungs. Okay, so just trust me on this, all right? And carbs and protein, all right? Most people I've worked with are deficient in protein. All right, we need protein and it doesn't just come in protein shakes. It comes in fish, it comes in meat, it comes in vegetables, it comes in lentils, it comes in pulses, it comes in nuts, it comes in seeds, okay? And it's just good for us. All right, so lots of vegetables, lots of healthy proteins, lots of healthy fats. And I won't start with fats, I'll save that for another day because I love fats and I can talk about that all day. All right, so is everybody feeling good? Okay, I will do the live Q&A where you can ask me as much as you want about nutrition, about fitness, about training. Okay, but I will update you on a time for that. All right, I'm going to leave you now to your cool down and your little lecture about muscles and what to eat afterwards. So make sure you get a combination of protein and carbohydrates for your lunch. Okay, if anyone's stuck with some ideas, just ask, I'll help you. All right, well done today. That was an awesome workout, I enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that. Remember, you can do this at home with your kids. The instructions were put on last night and it's great for the kids to work out some mental arithmetic as well as a good workout. So you're homeschooling and doing PE1, okay. So well done everybody, awesome effort. I look forward to seeing your sweaty selfies. As you can see, I am hot. Okay, I wanna see your hot, sweaty selfie face. Give them a smile, because I like seeing smiles. All right, well done everybody. Until next time, stay healthy, stay at home, and keep safe. Bye for now.